everyone today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful glam floral arrangement now the first thing you're going to need is a mirrored box I do have a video showing how I made this box I will have the video link below and I will have a card up above okay so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to put some foam inside the box I'm just reusing what I already have I'm going to use one of these pumpkin picks I have go gone in and spray painted it gold I spray painted all the pumpkins gold with some rust-oleum spray paint so I'm going to cut these down because they're pretty long I'm going to insert them in the middle just right in the middle but I'm going to actually end up changing that and you'll see that in a minute okay I'm going to cut down these dahlias I'm going to cut them down as low as possible because I need those stems to be pretty long and I'm going to go in right around the pumpkin picks in the center I'm going to start off with one in dead center and then I'm going to put one on either side of that one that's in the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing around. So I'm, I'm essentially putting one at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. Okay, now I'm going to go in with these... Um, flock it's called flock branches and I'm gonna cut them down pretty you know as far as I can cut them down to the base and I'm gonna do the exact same thing I'm gonna go in on either side of that middle flower and this does not have to be perfect it just needs to be around the center flower and then I'm gonna go on to three o'clock and then I'm gonna go around to six o'clock and I'm going to go pretty far out towards the edge of the uh, mirrored box. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some of these hydrangeas. And I'm cutting them really long because I don't know, I, you know, this, this arrangement kind of sits up high. So now I'm going to go in with these hydrangeas in the exact same way around the center. And then I'm going to go further out towards the side of the box. Okay, now I'm going to go in with these mini mums. And I'm going to cut them down pretty long, just like I did the others. Um, if I need to cut them shorter, then I'll do that as I start to insert them. But it's better to have them longer than what you need than shorter, of course. So I'm going to be using two bunches of, of these mini mums. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start filling in around the edges with these mini mums. I'm going to go in with three on each edge. So I'm going to, I, I want it to be sort of, um, sort of like a cascading effect. So I'm going to go, the first one I put in is going to be taller than the second one and they're going to get lower and lower. So I'm going to push them in deeper as I get closer to the edge of the box. And I did that on all four corners of the box. Now I didn't glue down my, my foam, but you could definitely do that. I change up a lot, so I don't like the glue as much. I don't like the glue unless I need to. So now I'm gonna go in with these berries and I'm gonna go in on either side of that middle um, dahlia that I put in. And I only had three of those, so if I had four of them, I would have put one on, on all, all four sides of the, dahlia, the center dahlia. But I only had three, so I just put three of them in there. to take these back out the center because I feel like the scale is not right they're too high so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off of the branch I'm gonna cut them to individuals so that I can control where they go that's the good thing about cutting everything down because you can have more control of where the flowers go so I'm going to put those in later, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start filling in the gaps with these hydrangeas. So I'm just going to look in the center to see where I can actually see through the arrangement. And then I'm just going to fill it in with hydrangeas. And my goal here is to have somewhat of a triangle effect. So the center of the arrangement needs to be higher than the side. So it's more or less like it's cascading down. So now I'm going to go back in with my pumpkin filler and I'm, go, I'm going to go dead in the center. I have already cut them down to individual pieces. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put them in the center just like I did before. 
So there's going to be three going straight through the center. And I'm going to make sure that the one that I put in the middle is the highest one. So I'm not going to push that down as far as the two that I put on the sides. And I'm just going to go around and look at the arrangement and see if uh, there's any white spaces or if anything is kind of protruding out too far and then I'll just push them in. Because I'm just looking for that triangular shape and so that it starts taller in the middle and then it kind of cascades down around the side. Okay guys, I would like to thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.